Hello and welcome to JHub's lesson on Redox. This is suitable mostly for AQA F325, and that's the blue section in the OCR chemistry book for the old spec anyway. Because I know, anyways, and it should be suitable for all examples, just mainly because it's a very uh, important concept in my view. So Redox equations. Both reduction and oxidation takes place. But what is oxidation and reduction? There might be a little anagram that you remember. And this will mostly save you a lot in exams. Okay, and oxidation is when we lose electrons. Reduction is when we gain electrons. So just imagine we have yourself, okay, and your life right now. You've got quite a few... Um, negative people, <laughs> Do -do -t, you know, pun there. And when those negative people leave your life, aka electrons leave your life, you become more happy. And so your oxidation number actually increases. But when these negative people come into your life, your oxidation number decreases, your mood decreases, and therefore we have been reduced. It might make more sense when we actually um, go on to constructing redox equations. Um, but let's say, for example, we have uh, HI plus H2SO4 goes to H2S plus I2. You might not see it right now, but oxidation and reduction is happening in this equation. So just a recap, um, this you should know from... Uh, AS chemistry. Group 1 metals will always have an oxidation state of plus 1 when combined with something. When it's uncombined, the oxidation state will be 0. Always. Oxidation state 0. Because it hasn't been, it hasn't lost or gained any electrons just yet, has it? So it can't have, it can't have an oxidation state when it hasn't lost or gained electrons. So that's why when we have group 1 metals, when we have Na plus or Na plus 1, the oxidation state would usually be plus 1 because it has lost an electron. So therefore, it has been oxidized. <laughs> Sorry about that. For oxygen, it's usually minus 2, except for peroxide and F2O. These are the only two except well, I'm sure there's more exceptions, but these are the two exceptions that you need to know. For hydrogen, it will usually be plus 1, except in metal hydrides. So let's say, for example, we have NaH. We know that group 1 metals is always plus 1. And therefore, since this overall oxidative um, oxidation number is zero because there's no number over here this hydrogen needs to be minus one to make the oxidation state zero usually if it was um, h2so4 it would usually be minus uh, plus one plus one for fluorine minus one for chlorine minus one anyways next one for half equations only reduction or oxidation takes place. So let's say we have the first ionization energy of sodium. We've got the sodium as a gas and that makes sodium plus plus that electron that we've just lost. And just because I'm going to be extra and that's the wrong way around, that's supposed to be IE1. Oh, such a big rubber. Uh, H I E 1. We know that this oxidation state is zero because it has been uncombined, it has not combined to anything. So the ox oxidation state is zero. And over here, the oxidation state, the oxidation, uh, oxidation state will be plus one. Therefore, we can see that it has been oxidized because we have lost an electron look there's the electron it's not in here anymore if we have lost it it's gone forever well not forever but it's, it's gone so it has been oxidized 
and therefore we've lost an electron and the what's it and the sodium is now happier therefore it is plus one if we had a reduction one if we had um cu2 plus as a gas plus E minus, that will go to make Cu, 2 E minus, I'll go to make Cu gas. This will be delta H E A 1 and 2, just because I'm being lazy. But as we can see here, we are gaining an electron. So therefore, we should know that this is a um, reduction. But let's have a look. The oxidation state over here is plus 2. Oxidation state over here is zero. As you can see, the number has gone less happier. We have gained electrons. The oxidation state has decreased. So therefore, we have reduced this. Okay. Usually, in electron affinities, it will usually be a reduction process. For ionization energies, it will usually be an oxidation process. These are little tricks that you can remember for you to, um, rem well, remember them. So let's say um, we have Na goes to Na plus plus E minus, and we've got Cu2 plus plus E minus goes to make Cu. We could con we can put this together to make one redox equation. But first of all, we've got to make sure that we've got, sorry, I've got the two again. Why do I keep on forgetting two? We've got to make sure that the electrons are the same number on both sides. So we can cancel them out later on. So is, for us to do that, we need to multiply everything here by two. So we have two molecules of sodium. And we've got, um, what's it? Two molecules of sodium plus ions. Two molecules, yeah. Two sodium plus ions and two electrons. And that would make, if we put this all together, that would be 2Na plus Cu2 plus plus 2E minus goes to make 2Na plus plus 2E minus plus Cu. Obviously, those cancel out. So therefore, we have got 2Na to make 2Na plus, 2 Cu2 plus to make Cu. Now, if we actually make it into a word equation, HBr is oxidized to bromine. So brom hydrogen bromide is oxidized to bromine, and um, which is oxidized by this oxidizing agent, which is H2SO4, dilute sulfuric acid which will be reduced to SO2. Now, what we should do is we should find out what each oxidative state for every element is for us, for our lives to be easier. So let's look at this and this first. So we know that hydrogen is always plus one, except when it's combined with a metal, but it's not combined with a metal, so it's plus one. This will have to be minus one. We know that this is an uncombined element, so the oxidation state is zero. We can see over here that it has been oxidized because we have lost an electron and has become more happier. Ox uh, oxidized by plus one. Over here, we know that hydrogen is usually plus one, so we've got plus one, plus one. We know that oxygen is usually minus two, so we've got minus two, minus two, minus two, minus two. The overall oxidative state has to equal zero, just like how this overall oxidative state equal to zero, because there are no numbers here. So we can assume that it has to equal to zero. So we've got minus, we've got plus two here, we've got minus eight here, so, minus 8 plus 2 makes minus 6. Therefore, the sulfur has to be plus 6, just so that we can get this oxidation state to 0.
Over here, we know that O2 is minus 2 minus 2 to make minus 4. The oxidation state over here is still 0. So we need sulfur to be plus 4 for it to make 0. Now, we can see through these two numbers here that it has been reduced. The numbers have been reduced. So therefore, a reduction process has happened. It has been reduced because it's gained two electrons. So it's been reduced by minus two. Uh, I don't know where the rubber is. Oh, I found it. So it's been reduced by minus two. Now, for us to balance this out, the oxidizing um, has to be equal, or the number has to be equal to the reducing. So, the signs need to be different though, because they need to balance each other out. They all both need to make zero. The whole oxidation state of all this equation must equal zero. So, we need to times this by two, so we can get plus two. So, if we put a two here, oops, we have two molecules of bromine. So, that will be minus one, minus one to make minus two. This will be two hydrogens, so that will be plus one, plus one to make plus two. So, this still balances out. This still has an oxidation state of zero. I know this is very messy, so I'm going to write it out again. So, we have 2HBr plus H2SO4 to make Br2 plus SO2. Now, let's see that everything has been balanced. I didn't rub that off. <laughs> let's see that everything has been balanced. So we've got two hydrogens here, we've got two hydrogens here. We've got two bromines, we've got two bromine here. We've got no bromines here. We've got two bromine here. We have no hydrogens here. And we've got one sodium, one sulfur, I mean. One sulfur. So that cancels out. And we've got four oxygens here. We've got two oxygens here. So we are left with four hydrogens and two oxygens. What can we make with two, four hydrogens and two oxygens? We can make two H2O because two times H2 makes H4, two times O makes O2. So therefore, we're almost done. The complete one would be 2HBr plus H2SO4 goes to Br2 plus SO2 plus 2H2O. And that is it for redox.